Good morning. Um, usually I do really formal, brief um, video blogs. I don't bore people. But this morning, hey, I feel a little personal. I like to give some information about myself. Well, I'm married to a wonderful man named Chuck. We have six children. I have four of my own. He has two from his previous marriages. So that gives us three boys, three girls, like the Brady Bunch. And then we have six grandchildren. Three boys, three girls. <laughs> so, Brady Bunch, the next Brady Bunch generation. But, anyways, um, today is going to be a really busy day. I'm expecting some chickens that I had for this brief ever. It is the laced English Orpingtons, the standard size. So, I'm really excited. Um, but, I'll just go ahead and get right down to the video so I don't bore people. But, um... Do let me know if what I'm teaching you is helping in any way. Just leave a comment below so I know. But anyways, these are terms that you should know if you plan on growing hemp. The first term is distilled. Now distilled, it, um, the plant, the product has a higher THC level. Um, which it can exceed the 3%, which can make it illegal in most states. Now, uh, full spectrum, um, it has a lower THC, but it has a plant taste, like it tastes like the plant itself. Now, the isolated hemp uh, product, it has little to no trace of THC and it is pretty much odorless and tasteless, which is good for people who want to make um, hemp gummies or lotions or anything of that nature. But um, until the next video, I'm going to say bye bye. But one thing, please comment and let me know if this is helping. You learn things since there's not much information or resources out here in the Mid-Ohio Mid -Ohio Valley. Um, I'm hoping that I'm helping somebody learn something. But um, please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.